Steve is in New Brunswick, New Jersey, and is now in Rockline. Hi, Steve. Hey, Ozzy. Hey, up, man? Steve. <laughs> you know, you're just the best. Uh, the album's great. You sound great. Uh, you're, you're just a beautiful, beautiful man. And don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Some way I won't. All right. So, um, all right. My question is, uh, when was the last time you personally spoke to Tony Iommi? Was about, it in the context of this lawsuit that's going on between the no, two no, of you? No, no. It's already, it's all been fixed now. It's, it's a business side of the world of us. But I, I spoke to Mr. Iommi just the day after Ronnie's funeral, Ronnie Jones Dealer's funeral. And, and he's, he's, I'm going to England tomorrow, and I'm going to hope to link, meet up with him and have a chat in about old times. It was, must have been sad for a moment that Ronnie passed away. Yeah, I, I was at the uh, private event, and I saw Tony there, and uh, Rob Halford, and yeah, yeah. Glenn Hughes, who sang um, Jeff Buckley's Hallelujah, and uh, we, we were all sobbing. It, it was an emotional I mean, you moment. know what? I mean, I said to you earlier, before we went on the air, I thought it was so bad taste whether people had them banners about Ronnie James Deal. Yeah, that, 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 that's that's disgusting, man. Because that's how we're antichrist. What makes, them, what makes them any better? You know, those who don't understand that this is fun... Just they're it, totally it's, it's, missing I mean, the whole thing. It, it's just a, a theatrical role. It's exactly. a style of music. You know, you, you, if you, if you, it's not as bad as having someone who likes country and western banning cowboy hats, you know. <laughs> That's a good way to put it.